Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a simulation of a comparator circuit within the Tinkercad. The IC which we are using for to make a comparator circuit is the 741 open IC. So first of all, we need to open our simulator which is Tinkercade. And here you can see this Tinkercade.com. Now click on that. And it will lead us to the circuit simulation platform. Now you can see this create button here. We need to click on it. We can see the circuits option. Again, one more click. And now we will get our circuit window. Here we can see a lot, a lot of components. So first we will go for our 741 operation amplifier. So now this is our op amp. We can uh, press the control and plus sign so that we have a zoom in version. After this has been done, we will go for our power supply. So here it is. This is our power supply. Now, first of all, we will give power to this IC. So here, this is power negative sign and this is power positive. So power positive pin must be connected with the, with the positive end of the supply. Like this. Power negative pin must be connected with the negative terminal or ground terminal of the power supply. We can change their colors. This is black and this is red. Okay. Now what we need to do? We have two pins that is in negative and in positive. In negative is actually the inverting pin and in positive is actually the non-inverting pin. So what we need to do is to apply certain voltages both on in negative and in positive. The voltage which is like uh, which, which will be connected with this in positive pin it, it is considered as Vn. Okay. It is considered as Vn and with the in negative it, it will be considered as Vref a reference. If our Vn is greater than Vref then we will get 1 or 5 volt on the output pin of this 741 IC and if it is less than the Vn, uh, sorry, if it is less than Vref or V, if Vn is less than Vref, then what will, if, if Vn is less than Vref, then our, we will get zero on the out. Okay, so, now we need to do okay we we need to take uh, two resistors like this and this we will make a small voltage divider circuit We can also change its color to black. Okay. And now this to orange. 
and this terminal must be connected with the V positive like this. Okay, we can change its color from orange to red like this. Now we have this voltage divider. We also need to see how we can how we can measure the voltages. So this is our okay, so like this. okay and this okay uh, we also need to connect one led on the output led on the output we can change its color from red to yellow we need to connect the cathode with the ground terminal like this and anode with the out pin. So now we will do one more thing. We will go and we will take one more power supply. Because we, we have to give certain voltages. Now we will connect sorry we will connect V in negative pin with this point. Okay, and first of all, we will run our circuit and we will see. Okay, it is 2.5. With the help of voltage divider, we get V references 2.5. And whenever our voltage with on in positive is greater than 2.5 volt, then our LED okay must work. So now, okay, so we will go and we will connect it like this, like uh, this, this, and for negative, we can connect it like this. All the grounds must be common with each other like this now we run it out now our v on v in positive we are having 5 volt and on v reference we are getting 2.5 so our output is high whenever our voltage is on this uh, this what's called as the on in positive pin if it is less than 2.5 the led will become off so now i will try to do something now you can see it's 3 it's 2.7 and our led is on now it is perfectly at 2.5 now whenever i will decrease the voltage the led will become off now you can see it is off now so now opm used to okay now again on so now what we got is that whenever the voltage on the in positive or non-inverting pin is greater than the voltage on the inverting pin then our led must be on and if they are if the case is reversed then led will become off so this is a very basic circuit with the help of this circuit we can draw or we can make certain circuits in which we can use a lot a lot of different variety of sensors and actuators so hopefully you got the concept
सो थिंक्स फॉर विजिटिंग अवर चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब